हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेफिनेशन वी नीड टू डू एटलीस्ट टू और थ्री एग्जांपल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन फर्स्ट सी ए रिलेशन और ऑन सेट ए इज सेट टू बी रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल R is a relation on set A. This we learned in previous class. What is relation R on set A? However, I will discuss in this class also. R is a relation on set A. Is said to be reflexive relation. When we say it is a reflexive relation, for every element in set A, this is very very important. For every x belongs to set A implies. ordered pair x comma x must be there in r for every x belongs to a ordered pair x comma x must be there in the relation r now uh, we'll try to understand this with an example i'll take set a is equal to 1 2 3 okay first of all what is r r must be a relation on a what is a relation on a if r is subset of a cross a if r is subset of a cross a then r is called relation on a so i'll try to write what is a cross a by this time you are very familiar how to write a cross a a cross a you take first element in set a and pair with all the elements of set a a cross a is ordered pair 1 1 ordered pair 1 comma 2 ordered pair 1 comma 3 now you take second element in set a and pair with all the elements of set a so what you will get ordered pair 2 comma 1 ordered pair 2 comma 2 ordered pair 2 comma 3 now you take third element in set a and pair with all the elements of set a ordered pair 3 comma 1 ordered pair 3 comma 2 ordered pair 3 comma 3 this is a cross a now you take any subset of a cross a <coughs> i'll take a r1 r1 is subset of a cross a uh, i'll take a, some elements of a cross a ordered pair 1 comma 1 ordered pair 1 comma 2 ordered pair 1 comma 3 now is r1 is subset of a cross a clearly all the elements present in r1 are present in a cross a r1 is subset of a cross a so r1 is relation on a now i take in a relation on set a now we need to check that is this relation is reflexive relation we need to check that is this relation is reflexive relation what is reflexive relation for every x belongs to set a ordered pair x comma x is also belongs to r then we say that this relation is reflexive relation for example uh, you take here an element 1 in set a please try to understand you take an element 1 in set a ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation yes it is there from this can we say that r1 is reflexive relation no we need to check for every x in a please try to understand here we need to check this for every x belongs to a so 1 is there in set a order pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation from this we cannot conclude that it is reflexive relation you have to check for another element in set a you take an element 2 in set a ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in this relation you take an element 2 in set a ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in this relation ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there it is not there so it fails to satisfy this condition so we say that this is not reflexive relation how to write this see what we will write for this for an element 2 2 is there in set a yes 2 is there in set a but ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in the relation r1 is there it is not there so because of this reason what we say the relation r1 is not a reflexive this relation is not a reflexive relation now i'll take one more example 
to understand this relation i'll take another subset of a cross a i'll take some elements of a cross a ordered pair 1 comma 1 ordered pair uh, 1 comma 3 ordered pair 2 comma 2 ordered pair 3 comma 1 is this relation is it is it is relation on set a r2 is relation on set a when we say R2 is relation on set A, if R2 is subset of A cross A, then we say that R2 is relation on A. So clearly R2 is relation on A. Is this relation is reflexive relation? How to check? For every element in set A, ordered pair, A, order pair x comma x is also there in the relation. Then we say that this relation is reflexive relation. Suppose you take an element 1 in set A. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in the relation? Yes, it is there. You take 2 in set A. Ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in the relation? Yes, it is there. Can we conclude that? Is it reflexive now? No, we cannot conclude. We need to check for every element in set A. See, you take an element 3 in set A. Ordered pair 3 comma 3 is there? It is not there in this relation. So, it, sat, it, it is not satisfying the condition for every x belongs to A, order pair x comma x belongs to R. So, what we will write the answer for this, for, for an element 3, is there in set A or not? Element 3 is there in set A, but uh, the ordered pair 3 comma 3 is there in the given relation R2, it is not there in the given relation. So, because of this reason, we say that R2 is not reflexive not reflexive now we'll try to understand this with one more example now i'll take another subset of a cross a uh, order pair 1 comma 1 ordered pair 1 comma 2 ordered pair uh, 2 comma 2 ordered pair 2 comma 3 ordered pair 3 comma 3 is it is a relation on a yes it is a relation on a Yes, yes, it is a relation on A because it is subset of A cross A. All the elements present in R3 are present in A cross A. Now, the question is, is this relation is reflexive relation? How to check this relation is reflexive relation or not? For every element in set A, for every x belongs to set A, ordered pair x comma x is there in the relation, then we say that that relation is reflexive relation. For example, you see here, uh, 1 is there in set A. Ordered pair 1 comma 1 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. Uh, 2 is there in set A. Ordered pair 2 comma 2 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. You take an element 3 in set A. Ordered pair 3 comma 3 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there. What happened? For every element in set A, ordered pair x comma x is there in this relation. That's why we say that this relation is reflexive relation. How to write the answer for this? See, we write like this. For every x belongs to A, for every x belongs to set A implies ordered pair x comma x is there in the relation R3. That's why we'll say that R3 is reflexive relation. Here, what is important? The important thing is for every that is important. For every element in set A, for every x in set A, ordered pair x comma x is there in the relation. Then we say that that relation is a reflexive relation. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Thank you.